Welcome to NK Telco Sports. We are here at Fort Recovery High School. Marion Local Flyers take on the Fort Recovery Indians. Our sponsors, Minster Bank, Schwederman Pharmacies, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental, West Staff, Hometown Opportunity, Lamb's Insurance Agency, 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, Upper Valley Career Center, Fowler's TV, Germans Farmers Insurance, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, NKT Productions, NK Telco Sports, and First National Bank. Welcome, we are at Fort Side Field House, which should be a great sectional final here between Fort Recovery and Marion Local, along with Jeff Henson, I'm Dave Kanapke. Fort Recovery on the season, a very good record, 19 and three. They were tied for third in the MAC with a six and three record. They're coached by Chelsea Roger. Marion Local Flyers, a deceiving record of 13 and 10. They were sixth in the MAC at four and five. But Jeff, if you look at these two teams, Fort Recovery, this is a three seed versus a six seed, or five seed for Marion. But you look at the rankings, it's a number five in the state in Fort Recovery and a number nine in the state in Marion Local. Yeah, very tough sectional bracket here. Two ranked teams in the top 10 in the state of Ohio scoring off against each other. Uh, the record, you know, Fort years. Recovery, obviously a great record. They're the only team to beat Nebreman this staff, year. Nebreman ranked number one. Mary Local, the deceiving record. I think coaches realized that when they seeded them. They lost a number of games in some very tough tournaments they played in during the season, losing to teams such as Magnificent out of Rocky River, Presentation out of Louisville, Kentucky, lost to Norwalk, or St. Paul out of Norwalk. They have a Mother Mercy out of Cincinnati, just a four or five teams right there that are high quality teams. Big they schools, lost to too. Big schools that they lost, and uh, so that 10 losses. Don't let that fool you. They're a good team. Both these teams like to hit Dave. Both of them come in averaging over double digit kills per set. They both like to block for recovery on the higher hand there with about almost three blocks per set compared to Murray Local's two. And both teams serve the ball pretty well. They get a lot of they get a couple points each set on aces. So, you know, I look for a very exciting match. These teams played each other back on September 21st. Mary Local one set one, 25-18. Fort Recovery comes back in straight sets then three in a row, 25-22, 15, and 19. So these teams know each other well. They played here in Fort Recovery that September 21st day. So uh, a little bit more at stake here. And in case you didn't know, each team's last loss was to Coldwater. Coldwater won the co-champions in the MAC along with New Bremen. Should be a great game. Top 10 state ranked matchup. Fort Recovery and Marion will be back with the starting line until we return on NK Telco Sports. For over 27 years, the knowledgeable, reliable, and experienced staff at Lamb's Insurance Agency has been providing superior auto and home insurance to the people of West Central Ohio and Indiana. The team's understanding of the agricultural community and farming operations is second to none. We support the local communities because we are, well, local. If you are looking for excellent claim service, stop by or call today for your quote. Lamb's Insurance Agency, representing Ohio Mutual Insurance Group. At 21st Century Kitchens, we know that every home has a style to go with it. From first-time home buyers to families with the pitter-patter of little feet, to teenagers taking over the kitchen, 21st Century has what you want customizing the style, layout, and price point to fit your budget. Kitchens by Craftmade and Quality Cabinets, countertops by Wilson Art and Cambria, along with availability of granite, marble, and wood. See what's in store behind the yellow door for your 21st Century Kitchen. Back to Fort Side Fieldhouse. Getting ready here. So starting the starters for Marion Local. As Rethman, Lexi Arling, Harry Fessemeyer, number five. six, Kylie Albers, 10, Brooke Homan, 11, Kara Evers, number 12, Morgan Heckman. Head coach is Erica Schultz in her third year. Recovery, they're doing their non starters here. They are 19 and 3 on the season. Six and three in the MAC, that makes it 13 and 0 against non-league opponents. Number three C, number five ranked in the state. Now here's the starters. Two, Paige Tobey, J Page Judy. Four, Paige Forkamp. 12, Brooke Garkey. 13, Kia Wendell. 15, Madison Rammel. 20, Cassidy Martin. 
24 first team MAC, Harley Stone. So Fort Recovery and Marion Jeff talked about their rankings. Five, fifth in the state for Fort Recovery, ninth in Marion Local, and they're one of they're one of seven teams in the MAC this year ranked in the in the top ten. Yeah, you mentioned the competition outside of the conference has been great for both these teams, but yet they have to play within the conference. And you're facing of the ten MAC teams, a number of them ranked. You got Nebrima at number one, obviously the number one seed. St. Henry's number two for recovery here, as you mentioned, plus Murray Local and St. John's is a bit of a surprise at number nine. And you go up a division, Coldwater was ranked number one, and, and Versailles in there at number nine. And you look at a lot of these. You had the MAC teams announced a few days ago. Uh, good representation for both of these teams. Yeah, again, fine accolades, fine awards, if you will, for both teams. Uh, Carly Stone on first team for Fort Recovery, as well as for Marion Local, Fessemeyer, who's been around for a while, being the Libro, and Kara Evers, a senior that's earned the first team honors. And you go to second team as well, well represented with Paige Judy from Fort Recovery. Um, so they, they've there's only so many awards can go around it with all these good teams to be selected when seven teams are ranked is strictly a true honor. Even honorable mention, just to be recognized, people know that you, you have some qualities has been a, a good award, if, if nothing else. And it's a shame someone's gonna go home tonight um, this early in the tournament rounds, but this is the way it is, and this is what we do around here as we play volleyball, and we do it well. Natalie Rathman starts us off here for Marion Local. Wendell with the bump. Judy not able to hit it at a little bit of a collision. Marion takes the first lead. Winner of this game will play the winner of St. Henry New Knoxville, who's playing right now over at St. Henry, just down the road on 119. Rathman, another tough serve. Wendell will bump it from the back row, does a short. Fessemeyer saves it. Goes over to Albers through the blocker. Kylie Albers with the kill. Nice pickup by Fessemeyer to take the short attack and being a good Libro, she hustled right up there and kept the ball in offense. And Albers, averaging two and a half kills per set, gets her first to give the Flyers a 2-0 lead. Stone with the dink. Fassemeyer will set Evers from the right side. Dug by Fort Recovery. Back set to Judy, covered by the Flyers. Albers again. Rammel. We'll see you set the four camp and that goes, that goes long. A bit of an extended volley there. No team's really getting a good strong attack, but for recovery hits it long. You mentioned Evers on the right side in the attempt. Look for that a lot. You maybe talked about that already. I know we talked about it. They set a lot on the right front. Hit by Cassidy Martin goes wide and Marion off to a great start. On the benefit of a few Fort Recovery errors, they've opened up a 4-0 lead. Long way to go, but a good start for the visiting Flyers. They'll go to the back row, Stone from the back row. Covered, they'll set Evers right side, she will dink it, Wendell with the dig. Judy, dig by Fessemeyer. Back set, Evers has to hit it flat-footed. Ram will try to dink it over. Set over to Albers, they'll call a illegal hit. Just didn't come out cleanly, a little out of balance, if you will. And again, a, a, an extended volley, and Mary Local had some opportunities, couldn't really get a good attack on it for recovery, kept it alive. And the air, the first of the game for the Mary Local Flyers gives Fort Recovery their first point. Anna Kanapke will serve, leads a team of aces with 44 on this season. Tough serve, three balled over by the Flyers. Will set Judy, tried to dink it, didn't get enough on it. Point Flyers. Judy, a couple of times she's mishit it, just almost that point where she's maybe thinking about it too much, and more times than not, she's going to hit it well. She's a good hitter on her team at just under three kills per set. Dave, we talked about before the game, that basketball hoop hanging over the court will come into play, and it did there for recovery, keeps it alive. Evers goes long. Actually, there's an Indian in the net. So another point for the Flyers, six to one on our first National Bank scoreboard. In a timeout, Indians will step aside. You're watching Tournament Volleyball on NK Toko Sports. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Valor's TV in St. Mary's. 
A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Valor's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Valor's TV, taking game day to the next level. Marion with a good start. Six to one, serving as Taylor Hillsman. Dug by Wendell, hit into the net that time by Martin. And Fort Recovery just can't find their rhythm yet, Jeff. No, they haven't. They already have five hitting errors. And for a team that has a hitting percentage just under 300, this is very uncharacteristic of Coach Rogers' team. Right now, nothing going well. There is an ace by Kylie Albers. I had the wrong server before. Albers with an ace and a seven-point lead. Albers, 25 aces on the season coming in, serving the ball at 89% accuracy. And there's another ace. Everything going right for the Flyers. Good serving for recovery. You know, sometimes you're the favorite or you're the higher seed. Puts a little more pressure. You're expected to win, and really is an even match going into this. Remember when these teams played here less than a month ago, Marion Local won the first set. For recovery, bounce back to win the next three. Wendell able to bump it short, and it falls, and maybe that's the break it the Indians need. Well, they'll take it. That was just a soft bump. Boy, they've done that a couple times. Early in the game, the match, they did it, and Fessenmeyer was able to make the play. That time, they did it again. I think Mary Local expecting the ball much deeper. No one in the middle of the block. Wendell gets credit for the first kill and her second point. Alexis Bupp with the serve. Set over to go with Toby. Nice dig by the Indians. Just pushed across. They will call a carry. A left double hit on the Indians. Unable to, to get consecutive serves. Unfortunate for full recovery. Good job by Mary Local. They take credit of that handling error and they prevent the multiple back-to-back -back scores. Set to Stone. Dug by Fessenmeyer. Close to the net. It will go. I think it hit the antenna. So a side out and a point for the Indians. Full recovery will take it. Down seven. They've had a rough start. Already taken one timeout. Sometimes there's timeouts is about all you need to break the momentum. It hasn't worked so far. Martin's serve goes long. Side out coming into the front row is number 14, Adeline Mesher. She'll hit from the right side. And now serving is number eight, Taylor Hilsman, a 5'7 senior, one of six seniors on this veteran squad of the Flyers. Hilsman a lefty. And that goes off the front recovery player. Recovery continuing, struggle with the serve, or you can look at Marion serving very well. well. That time, just miscommunication, and when you're in a rut, things that normally you take for granted become difficult. That ball is clearly out right now. Fort Recovery just doesn't want to make a mistake. They make one by trying to play it. Another hitting error, so this is really strange. You, you talk about the hitting errors. That's six already. You talk about the, the long serve they've had. They're a 94% serving team on the season. They don't miss serves, but they do when you're down by 10 and you're in this huge hole. It's just nothing going well for recovery. And it's a whole different atmosphere when it's tournament. There's pressure involved, and that one will say along. So back to serve will be their setter, Madison Rammel. And right now, it's just like full recovery, I guess, can't get, like, can't get into a good sweat. It's like you're just unable to get moving and down by nine, need a good run here on offense. Set to Toby, that will sail long, or sail wide. Back-to-back -back points, first time probably all game, they get a serve twice, Rammel, number 15, 94% server on the season, has 22 aces coming into the match. There's an overpass, and Stone puts it away, takes advantage of the Marion mistake. Yeah, Stone right there, maybe the best set she's had all night. It was the overplay, able to stay out of the net. She leads the team at 3.6 kills per set. Toby blocked back on the Marion side. They'll go to Mesher, dug by the Indians. Rammel sets for camp. Howard there, hit by Garkey on the kill. Brooke Garkey just over a kill a set on the middle position. 
for recovery. Right now, you just sense they've begun to, to click now. They've had a couple good touches at the net. Just some momentum plays on the kill on the overpass. And some good serving by Rammel, keeping Mary Local a little bit out of their offense. Kill by Aubrey Toby off the Indian blocker. Toby averaging just under two kills a set for the 5'10 junior. Breaks the string there of about five points by the Fort Recovery Indians. Albers in the front row for the Indians. In to serve is Lexi Arlen. She had a big serving night in their win over Wayne Trace. But before that, we had a violation. Uh, they're in the wrong position for the Fort Recovery. Rotation wrong. Rotation error, if you will. Unfortunate to me, that's unforced, and that's a, an easy, quick point for the Flyers. Back up to eight point lead. Rammel, the back set stone. She tries to find a spot covered by Mesher. Nice save there by Wendell off the hit by Albers. Fort Camp just hits it across. Pilsman. Hit there by number 12, Morgan Heckman for the kill. Heckman just under a kill per set. Four different Flyer girls have scored on kills tonight, so they're spreading the wealth. A lot of these girls have averaging just around one or over one kill, so a number of them have the ability and they use all their hitters. Four camp block out of bounds. So a break for Fort Recovery as both blockers were there. A stone will go back to serve into the front row, number two, Paige Toby. One of their big hitters for the Indians. Recovery now, four girls with four kills also, but just too many errors early on. Albers goes long. Remember Recovery. how this match started, Dave? It was a huge run by Marion Local based on about six hitting errors by Fort Recovery. Since that time, they've kind of stopped that momentum, but still a seven point lead for the Flyers. Ramon goes to Judy. Hit is too long. Side out to the Flyers. Into the front row will be middle hitter Brooke Homan. Back to serve as Morgan Heckman, the other middle hitter. Heckman serving at 91% on the season. Keeps it in play. Into the middle. Kill by Garkey. For Brooke Garkey, that's her second kill. Somewhat back to back here. She also averages, leads the team for full recovery and blocks per set at just over one block first set. And again, those are termination blocks where you block it for a point. You see a lot of touching going on during the volleys, but the blocks that score are the ones that terminate. And there's a block right in the middle there. You had Cassidy Martin along with her teammates blocking for the Indians. You talked about before that both these teams are pretty good blocking teams. Well, for recovery especially, 2.7 blocks per set. That is the highest I've seen in the games we've covered, and that's almost three points per set they get, again, on termination, stuff blocks, whatever you want to call them, where their blockers put the ball down on the other side of the court for points. That's about the third illegal hit on Marion. Masher from the right side with the kill. Adeline Masher, six-foot senior. Marion will use a lot of that right side as Evers now checks into the lineup. They also have a very balanced attack. You can't key on one person. It's now five girls have attacks. Adeline Mesher again, averaging just under one kill per set. Tip is covered by the Flyers, try to push it deep. Judy will hit it, dug by Fessemeyer. Back set, Ebers off the antenna, and a point for the Indians. Kind of ran out of room there, caught the antenna. That's automatic. Out of bounds, if you will. Boy, with seven points to go, the Flyers now up by only five. Which was, I think, was a 10-point lead earlier. Maybe even a little bit more than that. I didn't write it down. Ken Aki with the serve. They're setting Evers on the left side, and she powers it through. Evers, her second kill. She leads the Flyers at 3.2 kills per set. Carries a 222 hitting percentage. And she's the first flyer with multiple kills as her team now up by six with just six points to go. Albers to serve. She had a few aces on the first time she served in this set. She recorded two in her first attempt. First rotation. Hit there by Mars Martin. Hit by Toby. There's Judy. A little off balance. They'll set Ebers again. 
Blocked is out of bounds. A Good nice presence. Heads up Evers. play by Evers exactly. She likes that right front position and hit it and blocked. And she knew where she was at, jumped out of the way, and watched the fall out of bounds. Timeout Indians. We'll be right back on NK Telco Sports. When I took over this farm from my dad, I knew our future success required making major changes in our operations. That meant adding acreage, more and bigger equipment, investing in powerful technology, hiring employees. We even started a seed business. Fortunately, working together with Grinnell Mutual and my local farm mutual, my agent was able to cover everything. I call that progress. Welcome back on our first National Bank scoreboard. Marion got off to a good start. They're riding it with a 20 to 13 lead. Yeah, you give Fort Recovery credit. They had an awful start. Marion Local took advantage of it. Got open to at least a nine or 10 point lead early on. Fort Recovery, I felt, made a good run. They got to within five, but some points here for uh, Marion Local. Up by seven with five to go. Having trouble with the serve and giving ace to Kylie Albers. We talked about it, Dave. That's our third ace, by the way, for Albers. This gym, a nice venue, you're right on the court, but it has what I consider a low ceiling, plus the basketball hoops hang over the court, so you have to be ready for any type of bump that goes in here. It could come down very Judy Zay will say never went hits. over, four hits. Yeah, over at Marion Local, the hangar, the gym, the ceiling's probably lower, but they, they don't seem like they have the basketball. The hoop uh, is, it's it, already, Cause a couple yes. tonight for four recovery side where the balls come down quickly. Hammer there by Cassidy Martin. Adding on that basketball is like, you know, it's really caused for recovery more trouble, but they it's their home gym. They're used to it. Yep. You know, this is this gym was built in the 1970s, mid-1970s. Volleyball wasn't that big back then. So it you was in New Knoxville. They built their gym the right way for volleyball with the high arc in the middle of the court. Back in the 70s, that gym built also. Toby with the hit. They set it. Stone tries to push it and sails wide. Right idea. The push goes out of bounds. It's nine attacking errors, nine hitting errors against the Fort Recovery Indians this set. Flyers only two points away from victory here in the first set. Fessemeyer with the serve. Dug by Bupp. Back set to Martin. Almost a nice save there, but falls to the net. Martin, her second kill, well driven, and that keeps full recovery alive. They need 10 to win, and dug themselves a hole again, not able to bounce back from that rough start. Back set to Evers, off the blockers, and it falls. Kara Evers, first team All-MAC with another kill. Again, now that right front, something you don't see a lot of. The ball comes over her shoulders, if you will. But she's um, she likes it there, and she's now recorded four kills in this set. Leads the Flyers a 3.2 per set. And set, she takes a seat. Set point. Taylor Hillsman serves. Rammel tries to dump it across. Overpass put away by Garkey. And Fort Kirby survives for another point. It's may not win this match, but you got to get your momentum, get those jitters out. Whatever happened in the first, let's say, 10 points of this game, Fort Recovery needs to forget about that and get some positive momentum going and try to, you know, make a good finish here, but focus again on game two if they lose this one. And the kill to finish the first set by Adeline Mesher. Flyers take set one, 25 to 16 on our first National Bank scoreboard. We come back with set number two here on NK Toko Sports. NK Toko Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO and get in the game. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. 
with Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. Marion Local takes advantage of a good start, wins first set, 25-16. For recovery, commits 12 errors in the set number one, and probably of those 12, probably at least seven or eight may have been in the first, let's say, 10 points of the game scored. Marion Local did nothing wrong other than just kind of be gifted, if you will, points, and they took advantage of it. Now, after that, things tightened up a little bit, but Marion Local finished strong, earned the nine-point victory. Uh, they recorded nine kills in set one, Four of them by Kara Evers. For recovery, ended up with eight kills, just one behind, but the 12 errors of those, nine of those hitting errors really proved, proved to be too much for a Fort recovery to overcome. Wendell serves to start the second set. Rammel, little back set. Hit there by Martin. Hit by Evers for the kill. Kind of where she left off. In game number one, Evers now with five, and again, a nice set, and uh, pretty much in motion out of that right front. Albers has had success serving the ball, serves it off of Judy, able to save it and keep it alive for the Indians. Back on the Indian side, battle at the net, won by the Flyers. Six foot one senior, Kira Evers, Good start to this game number two. Two quick points for the Flyers. Albers honorable mention, MAC with the serve. Hit by four camp, kill for the Indians. Well, she went right through a couple blockers for the Flyers, Fort camp. Read this right, a 5'9 freshman hitting it hard and well. She averages 1.6 kills a set. Big numbers for a youngster in a big time situation. Anna Kanapke serving into the net for the Indians. That's their second service error. They, again, as I mentioned in set one, they don't serve many errors. They serve as a team 94.5%. And they also score nearly three aces a contest. So they serve aggressively and they score from it. And they'll call Carey on the setter for Fort Recovery. Just came out of Rammel's hands a little awkwardly again. If it doesn't come out fluid and, and without an awkward spin, it's a pretty easy call for the official. Rammel chases down, sets Judy. And that hits the line. The Flyers let it fall. A lot of topspin that dropped inside the line. Judy will take it. Had a rough game number one with her hitting. And again, they got to rely on her. She's one of their leading attackers at just under three kills a game. Gets a good one there. Hit it diagonally across court. Just enough to land it inbounds for the second foot recovery point. Buff with the serve. Set by Rethman to Toby. Rammel takes it across. They'll set Evers off the blockers. Over to Stone will just tip it across. Into the middle. It's Heckman. Nice save by the Indians. Bumped across. Bump there with a nice save. Evers, there's Bump again with the dig. Evers will set Heckman and it goes into the net. Toby actually was the one who hit it. So some good defense there by Alexis Bump. Yeah, she came up with a couple of plays and even early in that volley, I think there was a, a key save by the Fort Recovery Indians. And it all comes down to an awkward out of position rotation where you have Evers having to, let's say, set it. She bumps it high. The timing just off, and before, uh, Mary Local hits it into the net. Rammel to Stone. Left handed hit is blocked. You have Evers, you have Holman, or Evers and Heckman for the double block. Heckman went up with Evers, and I'm not for sure which one got the actual contact. They'll both get credit for half of a block. Heckman leads the team at one block, a set on the season, and Evers about a half a block, so they both proved to be big there to give a, the Flyers a two-point lead. Served by Hillsman. Rammel back set to Martin. Cassidy puts it away. Good spot, good court recognition. Went down the line, and 
No flyer player there to defend. And more importantly for Martin, or for recovery, able to keep it inbound, take advantage of that opportunity. Martin goes back to serve. Her team just down by one. Set Toby from the back row. Dug by the Indians. Set the Stone, and she has a kill. Good power from Carly Stone. 3.6 kills per set on the season. Her second kill of the match, just one in set number one, and hits at a very good 336. So she is very efficient and very accurate with her kills, Stone, attacks. Stone first team, all MAC. Hit by Toby, Stone digs it. Set will go back to Carla. She'll try to push it deep. Nice save by Fessemeyer. Toby will dink it, covered by the Indians. Back set is blocked. Blocked there by Toby and also Heckman. Heckman's come up big, her second block of the game. Toby as well, who averages just under a block per set. Kylie Albers into the front row for the Flyers, is going back to serve. Is Lexi Arling with a six to five lead on our first National Bank scoreboard. Rammel, good hit there by Garkey. Set Stone. Set to Albers, sails wide. Some good hitting. The last one sails wide for the Flyers. Second hitting error of the set number two for the Flyers. Ties the game up and kind of, we talked, this is gonna be a, a long night I think here. Before recovery got off to the rough start, Mary Local wins set one, but expect this to be back and forth here throughout. Marion, some miscommunication on that the free ball. It was just ugly from the, the yes. opening touch. Nothing in rhythm. A couple players, I think, ran into each other, and it went from bad to ugly in a, in a hurry. Luckily, just one point is all they give up, but they now trail for the first time this evening. Seven to six, do the Flyers. Albers, dug by Buff. Dink by Stone, and it works for the Fort Recovery. The Fort Recovery doing a much better job. They now have the lead of two. They have committed no hitting errors. Remember, start set one, they opened up the first few points with seven hitting errors, finished the match with, or set with nine. So far, zero hitting errors in set number one, and set number two. Hit across by Fessemeyer. Rammel not able to put it where she wanted to set it. Now, it'll go side out to the Flyers. A little miscommunication. I think Rammel wanted to go quick with a short one, and the attacker, if you will, unable to get there. Tough break for the Red or the Indians. They had a run going. Fort Camp with the serve. Put away there by Garkey. Good timing by Brooke Garkey. Saw the overplay and again waited till it was legal to make contact. Did so legally. Gets her first kill of set number two. Recovery getting their offense going right now. The serve is long by Stone. Side out will give it to the Flyers as number three, Natalie Rathman will serve and set for the Flyers. Also, Kara Evers into the front row, hitting from the right side, trying to tie it up here. You here mentioned set two. Rathman, 44 aces on the season, leads the Flyers in that category. Four camp tries to find the corner a little too long. First hitting error, an aggressive one, a good idea, but needed it to drop about a half inch sooner and used and went past the 30 foot end line. We are tied at nine here in the second set. Judy with the dig. She'll get the set back, blocked. Battle at the net, falls in the flyer side. I believe it was probably Paige Judy with the contact. Paige Judy, a 6'2 sophomore. The tallest girl on, on a court with a lot of tall girls here tonight. Yep, there by Dink by Kylie Albers for the Flyers. Well, she did a nice job selling it. Went up with the, the big step like she was going to hammer it. Went up and then just basically shot put it across and done so to tie the game at 10 apiece. Albers serve. Wendell chases it down. Pushed across. No, didn't make it. Another one of those unforced errors. You know, you always want to have a spike. But then yep. if you just got a free ball, you just want to make sure it's across. And you do that thinking you don't want to give them, you want to make a play every time. And sometimes you just have to give the ball up, up if you will, and, and live to play for another volley. And 
back-to-back -back hitting errors. This is a little bit more aggressive, but still now their third hitting error of set number three. That time Stone was trying to hit it from the back row as Albers has had a lot of success serving in, so far in this match. Dug by Judy. Will set Stone back row. Dug by Fessemeyer. Pushed across, Natalie Ruffman. That was a huge play. Timeout Indians. We'll be right back. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. Nice play by the Flyers there. Senator Natalie Rethman did a nice job of dumping it over for a point. Yeah, she fooled me. I thought she was going to do like a jump set and went up and just twisted her body enough to keep it legal and dumped it right in between the hole of the defense to give the Flyers a three-point lead. Again, having trouble with the Albers serve. Nice save there by Ramble, keep it alive. Indians, or Flyers have to bump it across. In the middle, Martin. A very well-timed play there with Ramble for the point. That time, the, the timing was much better. And Martin puts it down, and again, good timing. They had a miscommunication a few rotations before, but uh, that time, Rammel, Martin, hook up. Kanaki serve across. Rethman sets there to Holman. The set Judy, block, and it falls. Holman and Evers with the block. Brooke Holman, her first block. Evers, her second one of set number two. Morgan Heckman checks in the lineup. She'll be in the front row as Carrie Fessemeyer with the serve. The set all the way over to Martin. She'll hit it across. Back set, Evers, dug by Stone. Ramble to Judy, tries to find an opening. Back on the Indian side, now on the Flyers. Just getting hit across in the first hit. Martin tried to do too much of an angle on a slide play. Yeah, the cut too aggressively and goes into the net. Another long, longer volley there. Each team's trying to catch, if you will, each other off balance. Both teams recovered nicely. In the end, it was a miss hit by the Indians and Flyers now up by four. Martin with a nice hit. Went diagonally, used the long part of the court. And for Cassidy Martin, the 5'9 junior, her third kill of set number two. Judy checks out into service Alexis Bupp, one of four seniors on this Fort Recovery squad. Down by three, 15 to 12 on our first National Bank scoreboard. And that will fall. A little miscommunication it looked like there against the Flyers, but credit Bupp with an ace. Bupp has been the recipient this year of either the great rotation or just her flat out good serving. She's at 97.4% on the season. She's missed seven serves in 270 attempts. So she keeps it in play and gets a chance here to do it again as well, try to bring her team back to within one. Stone tried to dink an angle shot. Tip by Holman, nice save by Wendell. Fessemeyer with the dig. They're set to Evers and puts it away. Nice set there by Refman. And Evers does what she does. Doesn't show a lot of emotion, but when she hits it well, there's a, a little bit of hopping and giddy up in her approach. And uh, she has been on fire tonight here as of late. Her third kill of game number two. Evers and Rethman leave. Hilsman and Mesher replace the two for the Flyers. In the middle, Martin hammers it. Self-defense mode, some of these attacks. I mean, they're bringing it hard. And it's not much you can do except Put your body in front of it and hope for a good deflection. And Martin's come up big as well here. She now has four kills in set number two. In the middle, hit back. There by Madison Rammel. Good job by Rammel. I think she actually came back down the floor, went back up as the attack from Mary Local, right idea, just way too much loft on it. Gave Rammel to come down, go back up, 
get her first kill of set number two. And there's an ace to tie it at 16 as Martin took a little bit off of it on that serve. That's a delicate serve. You have everyone back on their heels a little bit, expecting the ball to come hard, and you can drop it in that gap. The, the risk is you hit it in the net, the reward is you get the ace. Toby. Good pickup. Nice save by the Indians. And they will call a net on, net on the Indians. So side out will give it to the Flyers. Lexi Arling will come in. In the match against Wayne Trace on Monday, she had five aces and 14 service points. Trying to extend the Flyer lead. 27 aces on the season for Arling. And that sails long. First service error committed by the Flyers in game number two. They had one in game one. Well, both so, these teams, their serving stat, stats were very high, but we've had a lot of missed serves. Well, Marion Locals right around 90%. Four recovery is the bigger surprise. When you're serving at 95%, you have one that's almost too many. They've had three already. Tonight's nice. hit goes long. And the Indians retake the lead, which has been a very tightly played set two after Marion led from start to finish in the first set. Bramble with the serve. Hillsman, said Heckman. Eight, or a hit there by Paige Forkamp for the point. Her second kill, and again, she went around or through a couple strong blockers and a two-point lead for the Indians. Timeout on the Flyers. We'll keep it right here. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making this tournament telecast possible. Williams Insurance Agency, 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, Upper Valley Career Center, Fowler's TV, German Farmers, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, Minster Bank, Friedman's Pharmacies, Keyhole Pizza, Enox with Supply, Minster Dental, Westat, NKT Productions, NK Telco Sports, Okay, Telco will have a player of the game. And on our first National Bank scoreboard, the Indians lead by two. Well, the Indians have played some better volleyball here in the last few points, and they've come from behind again and taken a, a, a two-point lead at a critical point of the, the set. You know, right now down two of the flyers with six to go for the Indians, and they seem to be getting into a little bit better rhythm with their attackers, although we've seen some great volleys. We've seen, I think, a lot of, like, what I call finesse plays where girls go up and try to softly put it in a spot, but boy, the defenses on both these squads you mentioned tonight in particular are going to remind you, you said nice pickup by Fessemeyer. I mean, how many times that's just like a canned answer. She's been doing this for four years, and uh, just they do a nice job, or three years for Fessemeyer, do a nice job picking up the finesse shots as well. As well as Wendell, the libero for the Indians, and they will call a two hits, double hit on the Indians. Wendell, the senior libero for Fort Recovery, and I mentioned earlier, now Fessemeyer, just a junior. Seems like she's been around forever. I think she's had two, if not three, first team all MAC. So she's first team again this year. Hit by Stone. Mesher dug by Bupp. Fort Camp. That will sail. Oh, they'll call it in. Flyers at first thought that was going to sail long, but it just caught the line. Paige Fort Camp with another kill. Her third of the contest. Remember, she's a freshman playing. You know, last year played junior high volleyball, and here she is. Gives her team a, a two-point lead in game two, a game really the Fort Recovery Indians don't want to go lose being down 2-0 to Marion Local, trying to even it up at one game apiece. They're the first one to 20, Mesher, dug by Stone. Rammel, quick set there to Garkey. And Mary Local's in the net. Point for the Indians. Garkey did a nice job. They went with a short, quick, fast set to keep the blockers off balance. Garkey nearly went into the net. In return, it drew the Flyers into the net. A three-point lead now for Fort Recovery with just four to go. Stone with the serve. Bumped across. Chance for the Indians. Rammel. Back set to Garkey. They'll call carry on that. The side out will give it to the Flyers. Into set and serve Natalie Rathman and into the front row. Number 11, Kara Evers for the Flyers, down by two. We talk about the good blocking for points for each team, but there's a lot of the touching as well. I think you're seeing that pay off here because a lot of these attackers are trying to, well, not that time, but you know, they're trying to go around the blockers and make a creative shot to avoid the block. 
Evers powers it through the blockers, and they're within one. Evers a big kill, her fourth of the set to equal her total in game number one. That time, no fear for the block, she went right through it. The Indians have to free ball it across. Chance for the Flyers. Into the middle, Holman with a kill. Holman as well. He's going through the block for the 21st point. Timeout Indians, we'll be right back. Moran Refrigeration in St. Mary's is celebrating 70 years in business. We are committed to offering you top name brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid, Samsung, Fisher & Paykel, and Speed Queen. Come in and experience the one-on-one -on -one personal service that you won't get from big box stores. Our delivery installation specialist will assure you that your purchases arrive safely and are installed properly. Brand refrigeration exceeding your expectations. We are all tied at 21-21 in a great second set. Serving as Natalie Rethman for the Flyers. Rethman, 88% on the season. Hopes to keep this one in bounds with an aggressive serve right there, Dave. There's a miscommunication again, and it goes into the net. And the Flyers with the lead. Of course, every point is important, but it's really magnified when you're at the end of a set. And that is true. You can't say enough, and you hate to have those type of plays where you probably haven't done that all year, and it happens late in the contest here in tournament. Judy comes up with a big hit. Her yep. third kill of set two. You know, those are clutch hits. When things aren't going quite right and you get that kill, that turns it the other way, it and now you're serving. Short memory on all the bad things is what you're hoping because you can't remember in the past or your next attempt is going to be sour. Evers dug by Wendell. Rammel back set to four camp, sails long. Point and lead back to the Flyers. Earlier in this contest, I recall saying that Fort Recovery had not committed many hitting errors. They've now committed six. They committed nine in game number one. Albers back to serve. The Indians have really had not much of an answer for so far. This time they get a nice bump. Rammel sets Martin. That goes right on the line. Much needed point for the Indians. Martin finds the line, her fifth kill. And more importantly for four recovery, they get they get that serve rotation now where Albers had done such a nice job in the first set getting three aces. 23-23. Several lead changes as Hannah Kanapke to serve. Off the basketball. Oh, there we go. Oop. We free ball across. Chance for full recovery. Rammel in the middle. Martin, that one sails long, and it's set point for the Flyers. Key opportunity for the, I feel like the Indians, that free ball over. Yes. Everything went right, the hit carries long, as you mentioned, set point for Marion Local. Fessemeyer with the serve. Wendell, Rammel, Judy, nice dig by the Flyers. Evers, led by Wendell. Rammel tried to dump it across. Nice save. Wendell, nice save, nice Wendell. Save. We go Judy and block, nice save, Wendell. They will set Stone. Some great saves both ways. Evers blocked this time. Set Toby blocked and it will fall. Flyers take the second set. 25-23 in a great set of volleyball. They lead the match two sets to zero. Great game, great atmosphere. We'll be back with the third set here on NK Toko Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaize County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest-running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. 
Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. Very closely played second set. Marion prevails by two. Yeah, a tough, tight game throughout. Fort Recovery took their first lead of the set. Mary Local bounces back. What's really surprising, Fort Recovery won the hitting battle. 16 kills compared to eight for Mary Local, but lose the set. But you look at the errors, Fort Recovery committed 14 errors in set number two. Had a lot of those errors in the second half of that set as well. Evers blocked. Set to Albers. The call lift on the Flyers. It was almost to the point where the Flyers, their offense was get it over the net. See once the Fort Recovery is going to either handle it wrong or hit it in the net or hit it out of bounds. I mean, I hate to say it that way, but Fort Recovery, or Marion didn't do a lot. They had some good touches and blocks, but it was Fort Recovery kind of self-destructing on their offense at times that helped the Flyers prevail. And it still was a close game, so. Judy, that tough. was so long. You know, we've seen this before, though. You see a team that looks great the first two sets, but we know volleyball can turn. All Fort Recovery has to do is just play a well-played game here, get the momentum, then you worry about, you can't worry about winning three sets. No, you win. You gotta the, win one. You win this one. It's it's elimination game for them right now, and long way to go, and. Wow. Stone. Good hit. Been relatively quiet so far tonight. Has a nice kill there. She has been quiet for a young lady, a, I should say young lady, a senior on the squad, if you will, but uh, still probably 17 or 18 years old. Just now her fourth kill. Yeah, she leads the team on the season with kills. On the flyer side, Evers will have to dink it. Wendell tried to save it, not able to. Well, you get Evers on an awkward hitting approach, and she's still able to find a hole just out of the reach of Wendell, who was able to touch it but not control it. Evers, eight kills on the night, I'm sorry, nine. Four in sets, one and two, and now one here in set number three. Essemeyer with the serve. Indians not able to get to it. First pass, so critical, and when the setter gets a second ball, it's tough, you know, these setters are good. They'll go after everything. That time, just not enough good first pass, if you will, first touch to let the setter get it. Rammel had to go a long way to get that one. This one, the pass is right at her. Back set, Martin puts it away. In rhythm, in system, makes it a lot easier to run your offense, and that ties the contest at three apiece. Number 12, Brooke Garkey into the game as Martin goes back to serve. We're tied three to three in the third set. Number three seeded Indians against the number five seeded Flyers as Evers' hit goes into the net. The Flyers have played what well, I want to consider clean volleyball for the most part. Seven errors in game five, just five in set number two. Compare that to 12 and 14 errors committed by the Indians, and probably a good reason why the Indians trail two to zero in this match. Stone, that time a nicely placed dink as she puts a lot of top spin on it. Top spin helped her height, made it look like she was going up for the hammer, the hard attack. It records her second kill. Two point lead for the Indians. Heckman, Rathman tries to put it across, and they will call a. No, it's illegal. It's, it's illegal. Le okay. First, I, I, I got the hand signals wrong there. Stone, I believe, was there for the kill or block, if you will. 12 was. Oh, Go, was it? Garkey. Garkey, okay. She had the, yeah, it was awkward. I don't know what you want to call it. It was like, it, people think it was a catch. It was just a dump yeah. down. I, I don't yeah. know. It looked legal, or just a little different. It was different, so yeah. it looks illegal, but that doesn't mean it is. Nice serve. Served there by Martin, hit by Toby back on the flyer side. Rethman back set Evers with the kill. Down the blockers for Fort Recovery. They got, I didn't mention it, but when Fort Recovery dove to save it, they gave Mary Local a good chance to go to offense, and Mary Local took advantage of it with power. You know, power usually will win, and when you have some girls such as Evers, feed them, let them go at it, and take your chances, and Evers is. Feeling it now with 10 kills on the night. Hillsman with the serve. Stone block back on the Indian side. Rammel back set for Camp. Garkey on the line. 
Garkey, two quick kills here in set number three. Seven kills on the night for the junior 5'10 hitter, Brooke Garkey. Madison Rammel back to serve this setter in this 5-1 offense for the Indians. Toby will dink it blocked, not able to cover it. Good defense there by the Indians. I believe 24 and 12. That'd be Stone and Garkey for the Indians. And four-point lead. I believe that's their biggest it lead is. of the night. They were down, they were up by three, I think like 21-18 in the last set. Albers in the back row sails long. And now a five-point lead for the Indians. You know, one stat we talked about coming in was a serving for for a cover. They average almost three aces a game, plus they average over two blocks a game. They only have two blocks on the match tonight, so they've just not been able to get that part of their game working. They got a block that time on the Mesher hit. They got a good touch. They didn't get the termination block, but... Uh, and Garkey will hit it. Check that. That was four camp number four. Dumped by Hilsman. Cover able to save it and free ball to cross. Chance Toby for the Flyers. To Hilsman. Mesher will be blocked, and she had no opportunity there as you have four camp and Garkey there. And... Now the Flyers taking an early timeout. They have trail by six. You're watching Tournament Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Fort Recovery has started out slow in all the first couple sets, but starting off good here with the 10-4 lead. Well, maybe, I don't want to say their attention has been gotten, but they're in an elimination game. They can't afford to fall behind early and try to come back. And they've started out very nicely here in set number three. Nice save there by the Indians, including Wendell on this event dump. Hit Rethman. across by Rethman. Good heads up play by Rethman. You mentioned sometimes you know teams are looking for that. That time it seemed a little, it was more of a surprise factor, harder to pick up and good time out, if you will, for the Flyers. Put away by Paige Forkamp, freshman with a big hit. Power, we saw for recovery a lot early on, try to push it into spots, which when you're in rhythm and things are going your way, it seems like those balls will drop. They had a lot of them out of bounds tonight, or this game right now set three. They're doing a lot more power hitting and it's, it's scoring for them. Albers with a dink. Her hit went outside the antenna. Ooh. Hitting there. Referee arrow. Steve Trout right on the call veteran official. Line judge Kim Egbert made that call. Barb Sotbein in the other corner. Carly Stone continues to serve. Indians on the season 19 and three. Their only losses have been to St. Henry Versailles and their last loss to Coldwater. Marion has won five of their last six. Their last loss was to Coldwater. The Curry has not lose to a non-MAC team and they seem like they're Getting their rhythm going there. That time, Paige Judy with a hit. A very impressive game number three here. And they mentioned the excitement level of good crowd here. Very, very loud crowd. Both these school systems, if you will, follow their teams well. And when Marion won game number two, it was very loud here on the Marion local side. But give credit to the Indians. They come out and answered that challenge. The violation there cuts their lead to seven. But... They've done what uh, the higher seed needs to do when your elimination game is get off to a good start, and they've done that. Morgan Heckman serving for the Flyers. Dug by Stone. Back set for Camp. Saved by Rammel. They'll set Judy. Not able to keep it alive by the Flyers. Back set for Camp. Might have been a touch. There was. And a point for the Indians. Wow, what a play. Mary Logan kept it alive. But Fort Camp gets the kill off the touch. Wendell serving 
for the Indians with an eight point lead, down two sets to zero. Rathman tried to say, hit it over again. Judy with a dink. Overpass put away by Martin. For recovery, strong net play. Mary Local wants a timeout. Another timeout, Flyers. Tournament Volleyball, NK Toko Sports. Be right back. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Eagle Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. 15 to six, the Indians. You know, we looked at these, neither one of us has seen Fort Recovery. They have a lot of high athleticism and their big hitters are starting to really get it going. It seems like they've really attacked much better this set. I'm not saying that the finesse shots don't work, but they've been just a little bit more confident, if you will, just going at it a little bit more aggressively in rhythm and using power. And so far, they've done nicely here in game three. Judy with the hit. The other thing we talked about, they seem more relaxed this game. Of course, when the leads you're going away, they just seemed a little tight earlier, but you can get your rhythm. You mentioned yep. earlier, sometimes you gotta get that good sweat. Then you just play, you don't think. It's a little drafty in here where I'm sitting, but the temperature on the floor seems like both teams are into it, especially now for recovery, playing a strong set three. Starting to get the blocks there. And there is a block, Martin there. And I think also number four, Fort Camp. So 17 to six. Mentioned the blocking, they hadn't done a lot of blocking in the first two. They've come up this set with probably three blocks already for points. Albers with a hit, there's a nice dig by Stone. Judy put away. Marion Local was there to make contact, but again, too much power. The Flyers couldn't get it back on the Fort Recovery side of the net. Marion has used up their two timeouts already. Albers, and good cover by the Indians. They'll do Stone from the back row. Tried to take too much off of it. We saw, I won't say a lot of that, but we've seen enough of that, where it's third hit, you know, trying to not give it up to make it an easy a, a ball to receive, but boy, you, you gotta get them over, especially when you have the throttle down. Keep it in play. Martin on the quick set. Cassidy with the kill. Quick set makes it tough for the defenders to block or get up to even get a touch, and that's all timing and rhythm and knowing familiarity, if you will, with the setter, knowing what to expect, where to see it come out of the window and then the finish, and they have a nice finish on that up, 12 with six to go. Kanapke with the serve, over to Evers. Nice dig there by Stone. Judy, dug by Fassemeyer. In the middle, Holman, that's long, or wide I should say. Fort Curry, the first team to 20. And if you're marrying here, you just wanna get a little momentum here hey, at the end of this. You hate to almost get I won't say embarrassed, but get smoked. That hits the line judge, Kim Egbert, out of bounds. You know, at this point in rally scoring, realistically, it's almost it's very tough at this level to win it. But what you want to do is get some points, get back in rhythm, so you're ready for the set, the next set. Yeah, unfortunate as it may seem, you don't want to give up, but yet you want to get some confidence and make a uh, make make a good showing, if you will, to start game four. But stranger things have happened. Chance for the Indians. Rammel, Martin, down. Rammel and Martin have really got their timing down of late. They've worked well together. They're classmates. They've, they've really connected here in set number three. Martin with four kills, had five in set number two. But we haven't seen the miscommunications. We haven't seen very many illegal handling of the ball as much, so it's been a cleaner game for the Indians. There's an illegal handle on the Flyers. 22 to eight, it, is, it has been all Indians. Before this set, we believe the biggest lead they had in the first two sets was three points. And they went way past us a long time ago. Trying to finish this off in the third set. 
Toby blocked. A lot of blocks by the Indians. Just pushed across and they'll call a carry. Double hit, if you will. Now 23 8. Alexis Bupp, senior, trying to serve it out for the Indians. Rathman, Evers off the blockers. Rammel, back row to Kanaki, sails long, and a side out to the Flyers. Long way to go, but like you said, this is where you kind of get your confidence back. Rely on your junior libero to try to get it started. A very good server, 94% is Fessenmeyer. Hit by Stone, that will go long. Or go for Indians, Mary not able to handle it in set point for the Indians. Martin trying to serve at home for the purple and white here at the Fortside Fieldhouse. Evers flat footed. Third set dominated by the Indians. They win on our first National Bank scoreboard 25 to nine. Matches now two sets for the Flyers, one for the Indians. We'll step back, we'll step back, come back for set number four. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Minster Dental Care continues to offer advanced dental technology in a state-of-the-art facility. Our professional team offers experience in general dentistry and orthodontics, including services such as CERA and wireline orthodontics. Board-certified pediatric dentist Dr. Philip Slonkowski ensures our littlest patients have a positive, safe, and a comfortable experience. We are unconditionally committed to excellence in everything we do. After the Flyers of Marion win the first two sets, the Indians of Fort Recovery dominate set three as we go to the fourth set. Yeah, a completely different team for Fort Recovery on the offensive side. They only commit three hitting errors. They record 14 kills in set number three and held Marion local to just nine points. So, totally different team offensively. They really look like they got their offense and went at it much more aggressively and, and capitalized and finished their, their shots versus the hitting errors that they've had in games one and two. Marion wins the first set 25-16, a great second set they won 25-23. Marion 25, before recovery 29, 25-20, let me do that again, 25 to nine, Fort recovery all over in the, second, in the third set. Wendell will start us off in the fourth set. Overpass, but Martin puts it away. Martin had a has had a busy night. Two kills in set one, five in set number two, four last set, plus a block, so she took advantage with power on the overpass to give Fort Recovery the first point of the set. Off the backboard, that actually probably helped Marion there. Chance for the Indians. Martin, blocked by the Flyers, pushed quickly over the Flyers. In the middle, Holman, I save Wendell. Miscommunication, it goes into the net. We've seen that a, a somewhat more on Fort Recovery's side tonight where that third hit just has been a little rough, if you will, and they've, they've committed a number of unforced errors on that third hit where the goal is just to basically get it over, don't be fancy, and they've, they've faltered at that at times. Stone from the back row, and that hits in. Nice hit by Carly Stone. So that was Albers on the serve. She's had many service points, several aces. And that time, Fort Recovery able to handle on a nice hit by Stone. Albers got those three aces back in set number one. But they get her out of the rotation where Marion had been scoring some points. Kanapke with the serve. Evers down. 
Kara Reavers was slowed down a little bit in the last set, but big hit there. Just like not many chances in set number three like they had in sets one and two, only two kills. This one here now gives her 11 on the night. And I think it's important in this set, Marion gets off to a good start. And they had such a really bad third set. There's the overpass, Wendell's there to save it. Judy Dink, nice cover there. And there we'll have a legal hit. Back row player. Oh, back row player, okay. I believe he meant whatever. Back row player came up and jumped or got off the yeah, yeah, something, something like, like that. A back row player, you can't get in front of the tent line and jump when they hit it. Fassemeyer will set Toby. Go by Wendell. In the back row, Kanapke bounces around. Kill for Hannah Kanapke. 5-4 junior, her first kill of the night. They've said her a couple times, she only plays the back row. But they've evidently, she's had some big hits and she's been confident when she's hit it and that was a nice hit. That serve will sail long by Bupp. Boy, Bupp, as I mentioned earlier, doesn't miss many serves. Came into the match at 97.4%, had served 270 attempts on the year and had only missed seven. And that was eight. That was her eighth miss of the season, so. Tough break for Bupp. Hillsman to serve and set. Back set Martin, Dink covered. Fessmeyer will set Toby up there to dig. Stone. Good approach, good set from Rammel, and you can see why Stone averages over three and a half kills per set, and that type of rhythm and momentum, very difficult to stop. Recovery yeah. with now a three-point lead as Martin with an ace. I thought when she hit it, it was carrying long. Yeah. It dropped. There's no wind here. No, there isn't. A lot of topspin. Good defensive play coming up here for the Flyers. Mesher with no check that. That was a slide play by Morgan Heckman. I think that was a big point there as recovery is starting to get a little bit of a lead. Had some big plays. His aces always seem to get the crowd, if you will, jacked up a little bit. But Heckman comes up with the slide attack, her second kill of the night. Had one way back in set number one, and now one here in set four. Rammel to Garkey, covered by the Flyers. Albers will get it blocked back. We had Rammel, also number 12, Garkey for the Indians. Before recovery records three blocks in set number three. They average near just over two blocks a set. Got three last set, their first block for point here in set number four. And will serve. Go into the middle, Heckman's hit is blocked. To Albers blocked again. Four hits, never four made hits, it. never made it. Eight to four, Indians. They got into the rhythm last set, and they're pretty well keeping the rhythm here in this set. And these two teams played four weeks ago for recovery one in four sets. They'll have to go five to win it tonight. Already with a five-point lead here in the fourth set. First touch, so critical, and Rammel serve not able to be fielded cleanly, and it leads to another point, ace by Rammel. Martin this time will serve it short. Mesher dug back to the Marion side. They'll go to Mesher again, this time through the blockers, Adeline Mesher. Mesher, six foot senior, averaging a kill per set. And very quiet tonight. She had two kills in set number one, nothing until now, and came up big for the fifth Marion local point. Roman Heckman serve. There's Mesher. That's a nice hit there, that overpass staying out of the net. And keeping a nice clean contact with yes. the, the firm, stiff wrist of you are hands. Back to back kills for Adeline Mesher. Maybe the Flyers getting a little momentum here. Hit by Floor Camp. Battle at the net. Albers able to save it and bump it across. Back set. Stone. Great set by Ramble, and Stone puts it away. Put it in the wheelhouse and let 
First team MAC league player Carly Stone go up and get her third kill of set number four. She's been heating up, if you will, as this match is going on. She serves now. Mesher, this time blocked. Judy and Garkey. And the Indians are getting more and more confident as the match goes on. Yeah, those touches now become points, whereas earlier they were deflections that went out of bounds. And Garkey's been big here. Two blocks, two blocks last set. Alvarez goes long. They're wanting a touch. They say there was a touch. So a point and a kill for Alvarez. Alvarez will take it. Draws contact against the Fort Recovery defense. Evers will check back in. Rethman back to serve and to set for Erica Schultz. These flyers and the serve too long. Well, you get a nice break. You hate to have a service error when you're, I mean, at the same time, you can't give them easy ones because no. teams are too good. Exactly. You it's can't do a lollipop serve and just get it over. The serve is an offensive weapon, and you have to live with some bad serves. Blocked by the Flyers now on the, or blocked by the Indians now on the Flyers side. Ramble, just get it across. Chance for the Flyers. Rethman sets Holman. The Indians keeping it alive again. And again, boy, that is numerous times that they have miscommunicated on a third hit, which should be free balled over. And just get it over. Your defense is playing well, and they've been unable, they've, they've just been made this third hit a lot more challenging than it should be. Albers, her serve goes long. But they get a break. The yeah, second every, serve error for the Flyers back to back. Seems like every time Marion gets an opportunity, they've been giving it back. Napke checks back into the lineup to serve with a five-point lead on our first National Bank scoreboard for the Indians. Evers again. Good set by Rethman on the back set. Evers puts it down. She hits it to the farthest part of the court on a diagonal and likes that set, if you will, on the outside, lets her body twist. and That's, that's a harder way to hit for most players. Usually they see it from the other side, hitting from the left side. But Here's that chance, Dave, we talked about. Can the Flyers use this gift, if you will? Good defense by the Fort Recovery Indians. Chance for the Indians in the middle. Martin timing a little off, but she dinks it and it falls. Martin and Rammel had hooked up numerous times here in sets three and four. That time, again, the timing off, but now when the Recovery, for recovery can get over. It falls in, out of the reach of a lot of Flyers defense. It goes down as a kill. We're just pretty well alternating points here. The Indians still up by five. Ball goes into the net. There's a chance for the Flyers just didn't get that third hit over. Another third hit mistake, and uh, Coach Schultz is going to take a timeout. Timeout would we'll take this opportunity to thank our sponsors for making this tournament telecast possible. Lambs Insurance Agency. 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, Upper Valley Career Center, Ballers TV, German Farmers Insurance, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, Minster Bank, Schwigerman Pharmacies, Keyhole Pizza, Minoxia Supply, Minster Dental, Westaff, NKT Productions, and NK Telco Sports, our fine sponsors tonight. If you missed our first replay of this match on Saturday, October 21st, the second one is October 22nd at 2 p.m. You can check out our full schedule on www.nktoco.net. You can watch all these games this season on demand. That is, when you want to on your computer at any time. And on our first National Bank scoreboard, we're in the fourth set. Marion leads two sets to one, but trail 15-9. Yeah, it's been a rough game, or game and a half now for the Flyers. They've committed some errors and just haven't been able to attack as well and give for recovery credit. They've cut down on their errors and Evers comes through big but it's been for recovery that's put maybe more of the pressure on by keeping their attacks in bounds and you know that hasn't given the Flyers many points when they are keeping those attacks in play and Mary Local 
you know, get a big point there out of that timeout, see if they can get consecutive serves, he'll eat, eat into this five point lead. We're going through the go to girl, Evers, with the kill. She checks out Mesher now in the front row. Martin comes up big again. Outside the antenna, I believe. Ooh. No. They will say that the head official is pointing it to the Fort Recovery side. So this is down. Martin hits okay. from the middle, from the right, from the left, everywhere very effectively. Hillsman sets Toby, never made it across. Momentum is all with the purple right now. Yeah, they've opened up now a seven point lead on that attack, not for sure if it was touched or just hit the nylon and went off. But a point nonetheless for full recovery. They go Heck Mesher, block back. Set over to Stone. She dinks it, and it falls. The dinks have been effective for Fort Recovery. Hey, everything's been effective. Right now, yeah, what didn't work in game one early on is working now for the Indians of Fort Recovery. Another timeout by the Flyers. We'll be right back. As a business owner, do you find yourself reviewing too many applications, or are you the job seeker filling out dozens of applications in an attempt to find employment? West Staff has been bridging the gap between employers and employees since 1988. Jobs range from manufacturing and clerical to specialized fields such as quality control and engineering. West Staff has the ability to operate as your company's entire HR department or simply payroll employees on a attempt to hire basis. West Staff, your partner in business. 18 to 10 Indians in the fourth set as they try to even up the match. Well, they're in the advantage right now. Momentum definitely with them. It was with them after the start of game three. They got off to a good start there and buried the Flyers, and that's kind of carried over to game four. So, again, down eight with just not many points to go. The Flyers need to get an answer here, a stop. Nice job, Taylor Hillsman. Found the right timing and found the spot for a much needed point for the Flyers. Timeout seems to have worked. Hillsman with a nice kill for her. She obviously doesn't get many of them, but she gets her first of the match. Lexi Arling to serve for the Flyers. Led by Kanapke. In the middle, Garkey. Madison Rammel, the setter. I think the liberos and the setters don't get enough credit. Rammel is running the offense, doing all the sets, and she is doing a nice job of Keeping timing team it up, up and getting her Team and setters offense. hitting. Yep. Yeah, they've been, um, when the ball's where you want it, it makes the attack for the hitter that much more easier. And the hit, the handling of it for the Flyers will give another point to the Indians. So yeah, credit, I agree. And the, the, the libero, they're all over the place. And the reaction time they have to not only touch it, but to give it up to the setter and she can run it down, put it in the system. Makes for a very much attacking mode team. Nice kill by Morgan Heckman, 5'9", senior middle hitter. She will rotate to the back row. Into the front row is Brooke Homan for the Flyers. I think at this time, Flyers need some points from confidence here. Get things going, get things start to turn around. There's Stone, and another back set, great back set by Ramble, and Stone puts it away. Stone records your fifth kill, had one in set number one, two in set number two, three in set number three. Moves past the four mark to the five mark, so she's had a very good match so far and coming up big when her team needs her the most. Mesher's hit is blocked. Not able to get it back to it, and another <laughs> point for the Indians. Termination block for Judy and Garkey. 22-12 here in the fourth set. That serve is short. He just joined us. Marion won the first two sets, 25-16, 25-23, and then it's been all Indians since. They dominate the fourth, the third set, 25-9. They now lead 22-13. Marion trying to stay alive here in this set. Natalie Rethman, one of the two setters for the Flyers, is a run a 2-6-2 offense. As Morgan Heck, or check that, Brooke Homan puts the overpass away. Homan doing a nice job snapping the wrist off. Crisply gets that top spin. 
Much needed kill and multiple serves now for the Flyers. Judy just gets that across. Rethman sets Albers. Nice set by Wendell. And that will go long. They check that, they'll say a touch on that. Great set there by the libero. Wendell stepped up as a backup setter, if you will, and a nice bump set. Well, it's always good to have some people that know how to do that job. It's not always gonna be perfect. And sometimes when you get that fish out of water person, it's ugly. And that time you said they get a nice crisp set and a good attack. Albers knocks it off the blockers. The Flyers stay alive. Albers will go back to the back row into the front row number two, Aubrey Toby. Flyers down by eight late. 23 to 15. That will sail long and we have set point for the Indians. Three service errors, again, very uncharacteristic for either of these teams, but the Flyers, when you need it the most, you know, have come up with some gifts for the Indians and set point for foot recovery. Kanapke trying to finish it off, that sails wide. Back to back. So Marion survives the first set point. Kara Fes Carrie Fessemeyer with the serve. Hit by Martin. Close to that, Evers just has to dink it. Wendell with a bump set. Judy Fessemeyer. Refman tries to dump it over. Judy, the dink covered by the Flyers. Evers sails long. We are tied. Two sets apiece. The Indians win the four set, 25-16 on our first National Bank scoreboard. We will go to set five when we return on NK Toko Sports. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber, commercial, or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion, and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. For over 27 years, the knowledgeable, reliable, and experienced staff at Lamb's Insurance Agency has been providing superior auto and home insurance to the people of West Central Ohio and Indiana. The team's understanding of the agricultural community and farming operations is second to none. We support the local communities because we are, well, local. If you are looking for excellent claim service, stop by or call today for your quote. Lamb's Insurance Agency, representing Ohio Mutual Insurance Group. Great match unfolding here in the sectional final here at Fort Recovery between two Mac schools ranked in the top <laughs> 10 in state. Marion won the first two, Fort Recovery wins the next two. Kind of what we expected, boy. The, the student bodies here between sets, you know, the Fort Recovery girls are out on the court just cheering it, if you will. Both student sections involved with inner excitement. We've had now the fifth set going on, and What's been odd here, what I noticed, you know, obviously Mary Local wins the first two. They've kind of settled down a little bit as far as their aggressiveness. They've just not been able to get all three phases. Last game, just 11 kills, no blocks, no aces. For recovery on their hand, 11 kills, three blocks, and two aces. It's like all three phases for the Fort Recovery Indians now are working. Mary Local needs to use all three of those phases. They're serving, they're blocking, and they're attacking to get this fifth set win. And speaking of fifth sets, yeah, neither team has played a lot of five-set matches. Marion has played two of them. Unfortunately, lost both of them to two very good teams, to St. Henry and to Versailles. Fort Recovery's only had one other time of the match. They defeated South Adams in five. So a little unfamiliar territory, and this is tournament. So it's a 15-point game. The, the uh, winner goes on to a power pack Van Wert sectional, play the winner of St. Henry or New Knoxville. The loser will go home, yeah. tough loss, and we'll see what happens here. We will have the games on 
the, uh, the Van Wert sectional, definitely in the New Bremen game. They play tonight against Parkway. If Merriman would win here, we'll have that game as well. Yes, yeah, so we'll cover the NK Telco teams as far as they go. And we go into the fifth set, I believe. We'll check who serves. I think it's for recovery. I didn't see the initial signal as they check. Referees check the lineups. It's been a great game, a great atmosphere. It's, it's great to have these early home games in tournament yeah, for an bad. atmosphere like this. <laughs> too bad this isn't a regional final or yeah. something to that effect. But, yeah, you, you've got to give the, the crowd tonight credit. It's been very entertaining, a lot of excitement. And uh, right now we're heading into the you know, elimination game for somebody. Kanapke with the first serve. Albers with the kill. Yeah, and just a 15-point set here, so a, a bit for the start is huge in these. Shorter game, Kylie Albers leads the Flyers off with a good start. Her first kill, and the Flyers on top early here in game five. Judy, dug by Albers. Rathman will go to Evers. Oh, a nice save, but it goes down. Tara Evers with a kill and a 2-0 lead early for the Flyers. Heck of a save, I believe it was by Hannah Kanapke. She got an arm on it. They couldn't come up with the play. Evers, who's been aggressive all night, her first kill of game number five. Martin blocked back. Wendell will set Judy, dinks it. Covered by the Flyers, but one of the Flyers, it looks like Evers when she dove, went over the midline. Diving for the ball, tried to control herself and just too much, if you will, momentum and some part of her body went across the middle center line. Your foot has to be all the way across. I'm not real sure when you're laying on the ground what part, maybe her hand went know. over. I'm not sure. <laughs> but something was illegal. Albers, big Wendell, Rammel. The second Aki from the back row, overpass. Marion saves it. Just hit across, chance for the Indians. Rammel in the middle, Martin, nice dig by Fessemeyer. Over to Albers, nice save. Albers battled the net and it falls. I believe Rammel with the kill. Wow, great volley there. MAC Volleyball at its finest. As there a line judge is waving. It'll stay Fort Recovery's point. As a Indian player tying her shoelace. Calms down the crowd for just a second as Buck stands up. Two to two on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first, our longtime scoreboard sponsor. Albers falls. Kylie Albers has got the Flyers off to a good start, and now she rotates back to serve. She will serve. Two kills already in set five. Way back in set one, she rattled off three service aces to help her team. Set to Martin will go wide. And a 4-2 lead for the Flyers. Flyers look like they said, hey, let's not worry about those last two sets. You can't do a thing about them. You're right, you, and you can't worry about it or else you, you'll have a difficult set five. They've come out and they've played aggressive. Stone with the dink, covered by the Flyers. Fessemeyer will set Evers, nice dig by Kanapke. Stone will try to push it, covered by Toby. Rethman tries to push it over. Second hit, covered by the Flyers. Evers, kill. Tara Evers and the momentum with the blue and gold. Timeout Indians. Flyers with a 5-2 lead. You're watching great tournament action here on MK Toko Sports. At 21st Century Kitchens, we know that every home has a style to go with it. From first time home buyers, to families with the pitter patter of little feet, to teenagers taking over the kitchen, 21st Century has what you want customizing the style, layout, and price point to fit your budget. Kitchens by Craftmade and Quality Cabinets, countertops by Wilson Art and Cambria, along with availability of granite, marble, and wood. Save what's in store behind the yellow door for your 21st Century Kitchen. 
Set five, Flyers off to a 5-2 lead. Quick timeout by the Indians. They get back on the court and short message to see if they can get back to work on offense. Just dink across by Stone. Overpass, Martin with another kill. Yeah, did a nice job making sure the ball broke the point of the net before she attacked it. Made it very difficult. I can't recall the flyer that was down there trying to, you know, that awkward spot. Trying to dig it out, could not. Good timeout for the Indians. They get the side or the serve back. Overpass just falls in. Almost Garkey with the hit. It hit the net and almost bounced wide. Yes, she had the right idea, but when it caught the top of the tape, it rolled and it fell just inside the sideline. Indians within one. Martin with the serve, sails long. Every point is so critical. Mm. Every point is magnified. And set five when we play to 15. Carrie Messif, Carrie Fessemeyer with the serve. Rammel sets stone. Big by Fessemeyer. Just hit across by Garkey. Fessemeyer will set Toby. Blocked. Evers digs it. They'll set back to Evers. They'll call double. The spin of the ball just came out. You're not supposed to watch the spin. You're supposed to see it from what I'm being told. But when the spin looks awkward, it, it couldn't have come out cleanly. And that was a, a mishandle by the Flyers. Tough break as they were getting ready to go to Evers. They almost served. Fessemeyer to set Toby blocked. Fessemeyer saves it over to Evers. Big hit. Evers didn't get, that set was coming from the back. She twisted her body, and that was a huge clutch hit by Evers. That's just an awkward angle, I think, for the blockers, it seems like, because she's always hitting, it seems like, diagonal. And I think when you're not going straight out of blocker, the ball has a less of a chance of you all to come back. It's always going to be a glancing block, and she's been successful with it, no doubt about it. They go to Mesher. Rammel pushes in the corner. Fessemeyer chases it down. Over to Toby, blocked again. Fessemeyer to Mesher, somebody off the blockers. There was somebody in the net, and somebody was from Fort Recovery. Went up on the, bro the block approach and caught their hands in it. Now a three-point lead for the Flyers. Seven to go. Eight to five as the Flyers have come off with energy and a rotation error on the Indians. Coach Chelsea Rammel, Chelsea Rogers wants to go, what was wrong? And the down official was confident in his call. Now a four point lead for the Marion Local Flyers. They'll go four camp, there's Fessemeyer again. All the way over Toby. Nice save there for the Indians. Hip in the back row, Fessemeyer digs it. In the middle, Heckman. Rammel sets for camp. Fassemar again. Almost confusion again on the third hit. In the middle, that time was blocked out of bounds. Another great volley. Almost a must point there for Fort Recovery. Yeah, they would have, having lost that point, would have really dug themselves in a hole. Now back to three. Carly Stone to serve. Short serve. Rammel to Judy. Nice cover there by Hillsman. Mesher with the kill. Mesher, like Evers, getting that ball, if you will, over your shoulder. And it's not the first time they've seen that come at them. I and mean, they practiced that, and those girls hit well on the right front. A lot of scoring coming in that part of the court, if you will, and a four-point cushion now with five to go for the Flyers. Ten to six on our first National Bank scoreboard. Lexi Arling serving. Big by Wendell. Rammel. Four camp. That goes wide. Now 11 to six. Another timeout for recovery. We'll keep it right here. Don't want to miss any action in this loud Portside Fieldhouse. Replays are on nktelco.net. If you missed our first replay on October 21st, our second replay 
Sunday, October 22nd. Check out our website as uh, our, our schedule will be updated a lot with the tournament as you see the Marion Local Flyers around Coach Schultz. And they really look bad the last two sets, to be honest, and they have regrouped here in the fifth set. Yeah, it's been Jekyll and Hyde for kind of each of these teams tonight. We've had some good matches, but each team has kind of dominated the ones they've won, um, albeit maybe the, you know, the set number two where it was 25-23, but you, you got to have a short memory in this game. If you talk about how bad you played in set one or two, you're, gonna, you're done, but both these teams have battled. For recovery, credit with the backs against the wall. Two sets, they've been able to force a game five. Do they have enough to come back? Fort Camp with a power push in the corner. Boy, freshman Fort Camp, who had her last attack long. They go back to her, takes the risk reward shot, push, try to push it where they're not. Yeah, totally legal hit. I didn't yep. mean that. That was just a, a big play. She Lead hit down it down to four. To the deepest part of the court. Dink by. Albers, and it works. Boy, I talk about finesse and, and power. It's almost like everyone's so geared up right now. A good time for that because it really just caught everyone off balance. It wasn't hit hard, just where people were not able to make good first touch. Morgan Heckman with the serve. Martin blocked, not able to get it back. Flyers within two points and advancing the district. I believe it was Homan and Mesher maybe with the block there. 13 to seven. Rammel, back set for Camp, dug by the Flyers. Hillsman, the set, Albers. Kept alive. With the kill, and we are at third, gets match point here for the Flyers. had like seven or eight match points here. Off the had a bleeder off the top of the net. They go all the way over to Toby, blocked out of bounds. So point for the Indians. Everybody kind of holding their breath now. You, you hate to see this thing end, but the Flyers nearly get a termination block, and Judy with the, the, the kill keeps her team alive. Big hit for the sophomore coming up. Match point, still being able to get a clean, solid attack. Anna Kanapke trying to keep the Indians alive. Big by the Flyers. They'll go over to Albers. Big by Wendell. Hit across. Fessemeyer will go to Mesher. Wendell digs it. Rammel takes it over on the second one. Fessemeyer sets Albers. Black back on the Flyers. Albers again. And for the win! The Marion Local Flyers win the first two, lose the next two, and come back with a big fifth set. As they win this sectional final, they advance to the Van Wert District. The final numbers on our first National Bank scoreboard. Marion wins the first two sets, 25-16, 25-23. They lose the next two, 25-29, 25-16, and they prevail in the fifth set. 15 to eight for the Flyers victory. We'll take a, we'll take a break, we'll come back to wrap it up here on NK Toko Sports. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Valor's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Valor's TV, taking game day to the next level. When I took over this farm from my dad, I knew our future success required making major changes in our operations. That meant adding acreage, more and bigger equipment, investing in powerful technology, hiring employees, we even started a seed business. Fortunately, working together with Grinnell Mutual and my local farm mutual, my agent was able to cover everything. I call that progress. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, 
baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO and get in the game. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. With Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. Moran Refrigeration in St. Mary's is celebrating 70 years in business. We are committed to offering you top name brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid, Samsung, Fisher & Paykel, and Speed Queen. Come in and experience the one-on-one -on -one personal service that you won't get from big box stores. Our delivery installation specialist will assure you that your purchases arrive safely and are installed properly. Moran Refrigeration, exceeding your expectations. Great tournament action here between two state-ranked MAC teams. It's a shame somebody has to leave early. Fort Recovery's season will end with the Marion local Flyers advance in five with the final numbers, Mr. Jeff Henschen. Well, the Flyers did it the awkward way. They win the first two sets kind of convincingly, did some good hitting, controlled their errors, but lose sets three and four, really didn't get much offense going, especially game three, um, but and committed more errors than normal. And, they come back to game five, play a very clean game in game five, attack well, hit well, and win the final set 15 to eight. Uh, leading scores, if you will, for the Flyers. Audrey Toby, two kills. Natalie Rethman, two kills. Kylie Albers, nine kills. Taylor Hillsman, one kill. Two kills from Brooke Holman, 16 from Kara Evers, three from Morgan Heckman, six from Adeline Mesher. Their total of 41 kills on the night. For recovery, actually, Dave out attacked them, if you will, with converting on 55 kills. They were led by junior 5'9 Cassidy Martin with 16 kills. Also, double figure attackers were Carly Stone with 11 and Brooke Garkey with 10. But the Achilles heel tonight for the Fort Recovery Indians, just too, for recovery Indians, just too many mistakes hitting and, and handling and serving. They all add up. They commit 40 errors compared to just 31 for the Flyers and that was enough if you will for the Flyers to win they, they played good in three of the five games and, uh, and that's all you need to do is win three and they do that I just want to mention some of the blocking numbers we mentioned the kills Kerry Evers led the way with three blocks for Mary Local Morgan Heckman with two one apiece from Adeline Mesher and Brooke Homan for their four blocks and service aces big start for Kylie Albers she recorded three back in game number one also Taylor Hillsman had a service ace and that was their total for the night. So congratulations to the Marion Local Flyers. Tough break for the Fort Recovery Indians. Marion Local Flyers go to 14 and 10 on this season. They will advance to the Van Ward District, play the winner the second game. Uh, either the winner of St. Henry Knox, but we don't know who won that game. We will have that game on NK Telco as well as hopefully the first game if New Bremen advance tonight. There could possibly be four state reg teams as another player that'll probably be in there is Audeville. Uh, they're also stake ranked in the top 10 as well. If you're Fort Recovery, they, you end the season 19 and four. Your only losses all season have been to MAC teams. You get knocked out by a MAC team. You went undefeated outside the league. In a way you think, man, they, they never trade leave the MAC because it's such great, but it's, it's tough when the MAC teams, you battle each other all season and now they're eliminating each, yep. each yes. one, but that's, that's the way it is. That's what this area is. And unfortunately, a great season. Coach Rogers in her Fort Recovery Indians. A lot of young players on the Indians will look for them to be strong next year. But the Flyers, like you said, will start out hot. Uh, the first one survived the second one, 
And I give them credit. I don't know if the players, the coaches, but in the fifth set after nothing went right, they had a little bounce. They had spirit right away. Were aggressive that fifth set, and that's what brought the victory home. A game of momentum and confidence, and uh, not that Fort Recovery didn't have it going into game five, actually having one, uh, three and four, but good start for the Flyers. They get good attacking and um, just clicked it all. Silton in that last deciding game five. Our player of the game, sponsored by NK Toco Sports. For the Flyers, yeah, a lot of players had an all-round good game, but when they needed that big hit, they went to the senior, Kara Evers. Yeah, 6'1 senior, came in as their leading attacker on the squad. She finishes, as I mentioned earlier, with the 16 kills. Very consistent, four in game one, four in game two, two in game two, I'm sorry, three. Three in game four and then finished a decisive 15 point game with three kills, 16 total. Go along with three blocks. She played pretty smart, you know, just not a lot of hitting errors from her. She kept him in play and recorded some kills as well along the way. So good job. Congratulations to Kara Evers. And congratulations to Coach Erica Schultz and all the Marion local Flyers as they go into the weekend knowing they'll be playing on Tuesday night at the very tough Van Wert district next week and we'll have that on NK Toko Sports. Now for our NK Toko crew, Bryce Hamrick, and our, our producer Isaac Sell, my partner Jeff Hench, and I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching on NK Toko Sports.